everyone. Welcome back to a edition of Learn Analytics and Happy New Year um, to you all, to new subscribers as well as returning subscribers. Um, so today I really wanted to take some time to walk you through uh, on another um, very interesting case study uh, video um, since the last one that uh, I created on uh, food delivery space. Um, this one is, is also a case study uh, video um, pertaining on a case uh, in the food delivery and grocery delivery. Um, it is a company a startup um, who raised a significant amount uh, in their Series A uh, funding. And this role, um, basically the case uh, was given um, during the interview process for their senior business analyst role. So without further ado, uh, let's dive right into the prompt. So here we go, uh, the prompt, I'll read it out loud. Um, so uh, basically company X offers uh, meal delivery and grocery delivery across a portfolio of cities and is focused uh, equally on both top line and bottom line performance. It is day one for you in your senior business analyst role, and you've been asked to build a tool for the executive team that provides as many valuable insights as possible. Please prepare a plan for this tool. Example topics to consider. What would it look like? How would it function? What metrics would you include? How would those metrics be calculated? We look forward to hearing from you and hope you enjoy your weekend. So, uh, when I received this prompt, uh, I was given about two days, uh, pretty quick in terms of a turnaround time, uh, but I would say pretty standard in most uh, data analysts or business analyst roles uh, to, to have a pretty quick uh, turnaround time of two to three days. Um, so uh, more, more, more thoroughly, uh, I think what I'm going to, um, end up showing is the uh, actual solution uh, that I built for this plan. Um, so we could look at this together. So here you go. Uh, yep. So a uh, very first but off the bat, um, some very interesting things when I, I decided to come up with the case was that uh, I knew that um, uh, if I were selected based on how uh, I created the content in this case, uh, I would have to present this case to the hiring manager. So right off the bat, I wanted to uh, create uh, some type of slide deck uh, in Google Slides um, that had um, some theme as well as some colors to it that makes it stick out and very appealing. So let's... Let's look at um, basically uh, how I framed some of these slides together. Um, so basically the ask was a, to create a plan and this is a day one plan. So what type of business questions are we looking to solve? So I really pertained uh, this piece or this key question to a theme to how to create the business plan. Um, um, before the metrics, before the data, like what exactly is the business questions here? So very important right off the bat. So before uh, we dive into the metrics or the solution, I wanted to show uh, the team and the hiring manager my approach. So I broke it down by four different stages. Um, so for any new uh, data analysts or new business analysts, uh, you'll find um, this, this approach or this cycle to be very, uh, uh, might be new for you, uh, but this is actually an approach that uh, you'll get see, you'll see this a lot. That's very standard across many businesses when tackling uh, problems. So for example, stage one is really to understand uh, what the business need is um, so uh, here the business need was to bring uh, valuable insights to the leadership team, right? Um, so ultimately we want to first work with that leadership team or work with the core uh, head of businesses to understand, oh, why is there this need? Uh, what does the current process look like? 
um, is there a lack of uh, data or is there a lack of insights or is there a lack of uh, why does the business um, need this right now? Is it not, is the business not running uh, smoothly? Is the business uh, losing money? Is the business uh, operationally not efficient, right? So like these are some examples, um, but ultimately you also want to think about in the very beginning, who is your end user? Is the end user um, the leadership team? Is the end user the marketing team? Is the end user uh, the supply chain team? Or, uh, and, and exactly how would they use it? Would they use it once a day? Would they use it once a week? Would they use it every, um, uh, uh, once a month, right? Uh, some of these things to think about. Um, so stage two is really um, the, the more of the, uh, as, as you get through stage one, stage two is thinking about how much level of effort do we need to develop this, uh, this tool. So that might include working with the uh, data engineering teams, right? Um, how can we create a, a prototype? How much time would it take? What actually goes into it? Um, do we have the metrics defined yet? Do we have the different KPIs? All of that is uh, needed uh, before actual implementation. So stage three is actually uh, creating the prototype, right? Uh, implementing the prototype, uh, making sure the data looks right. Uh, how can we get uh, feedback? Uh, from the users, uh, what 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 do they what do they say? Uh, do they like it? Does it make sense? Uh, are the metrics looking right? Um, are those the metrics that we want? Um, a lot of that goes into the stage three and stage four. Ultimately, is you know how can we have them uh, actually use and adopt to the tools? Right, uh, people are are uh, habit habitual creatures, uh, so we we have to make sure uh, we have a good tool, but how, how can they actually use it? How can we teach them to use it? Like all these things are, are very important um, when, when we're thinking of a tool um, like this. So uh, next piece I wanna walk over uh, here is really talking about uh, the business. Right, I, I want to share uh, with the hiring manager. I understand uh, what the business is and and how it functions. Right, uh, as I was talking about, it's a food delivery, grocery delivery business. Uh, customer orders food. Uh, driver receives a notification. Driver drives to partner destination to pick up order. Driver arrives to partner location to pick up um, the order. Driver drives to customer destination. Uh, driver arrives to customer uh, delivers the order. Um, so I wanted to first uh, think of it from a high level perspective and then walk the, um, the hiring manager through how, how exactly do these things translate into KPIs or metrics, right? Um, back to the uh, prompt, um, what type of KPIs and metrics would be included in this plan, right? In this uh, tool that we are building. So some of the metrics that uh, I wanted to show was first um, timeliness and on time, right? When a customer orders um, an ask uh, appointment to order actual delivery. And the other thing is CSAT customer satisfaction. Um, so both, both of these metrics are uh, very important. As you can tell from a food delivery and grocery delivery business, uh, customer experience, super important uh, on both of these. So then translating uh, to that higher macro approach, right, uh, to talk about what are exactly some business questions that might prompt to a business like this. So what is the health of our business? Which markets are doing well and which are struggling? Um, which partners help us generate the most revenue? Uh, what are our customers ordering from and where are they ordering from? How long is it taking for customers to order food and actual completion delivery? What is the overall order of delivery volume across markets? What is revenue trend and growth? How is CSAT looking like overall and across markets? So like some of these questions, uh, once again, pretty open-ended, but I wanted to prompt that um, once again, uh, it, it's for the executive team and the leadership team. So they're thinking about their overall business and they're thinking about um, which, 
which partners are helping uh, them, you know, the customers are ordering most from. Uh, are the customers satisfied with the current uh, delivery times, right? Are the customers satisfied with the CSAT? Um, are, are we having a lot of business right now? So like, these are some questions um, here. So ultimately translating um, to a solution. So back, back to it, the solution that I built out is really a company health dashboard. So once again, some of these things I was touching on earlier, uh, broken down into four different sort of business sections or business lines. Um, one section focusing on revenue strictly, and one on partnerships, and one on operations, and one on customer experience. So you can see uh, gross revenue, revenue growth percentage, order deliveries completed, average revenue per delivery, gross profit percentage. So all of these are sample uh, metrics that go into the revenue category, customer experience, uh, customer satisfaction score, uh, travel time, uh, customer experience, and then partnerships, uh, deliveries by partner, revenue generated by partner, number of new partners per market, uh, operation side, uh, onboarding costs, headcount costs, labor costs, overhead costs. Um, so these are just some, some of the core sort of sample metrics that I came up with to think about uh, the food delivery business. So ultimately translating uh, uh, into a visualization. So I built this visualization in, in, in Tableau. Uh, basically the case study didn't have a data set uh, pertaining. So I took uh, some sample dummy data uh, that I found. Uh, you could see that um, generating revenue growth, uh, sample deliveries, metrics, operations costs, uh, um, therefore. I, I think the most important part that you're, you're trying to come up with is that um, this data set is a fake data set, right? It's for demo progress purposes. But the most important is to drive your um, previous slide across. These are different sections. These are the different metrics. Um, these are the different sections that it would look like in the tool or the visualization or the dashboard. Um, how do they connect to each other? And you're, you're driving across that. Um, if given that right data set, you can uh, gather it, query it, and visualize it and bring it to the point for the business. So very similar, I wanted to um, look at it at the same angle. Uh, one of the questions were, uh, how is our revenue growth um, looking like? Um, which markets would have good health growth, right? Versus uh, low volume or low high cost, um, not growth that we want. We can uh, segment by business line, we could segment by market, um, such things. So, yeah. So this this video uh, this this dashboard as well very similar. You can look at partnerships. You can look at which ones, uh, which which food uh, type, uh, which restaurant had the highest amount of sales at one time. Uh, here I chose uh, uh, this dumpling restaurant uh, to be one of the um, highest revenue ones, and definitely a great talking point uh, when we're talking about food too. Um, so some, some things to think about, especially when you're walking through uh, a team or a hiring manager, uh, your, your actual case, it's very important to, um, to, to also talk about um, some of the connection points here, right? You could talk about uh, partnerships and it might lead to another uh, type of conversation, uh, depending on the stakeholder. So. And very similar, I wanted to drive into the CX metrics uh, section, looking for trends, insights, um, average 31 minutes, 19,000K customers, average CSAT score of 6.5 on scale of 1 to 10. Um, so I think overall, uh, and the last slide that I had was really uh, back to some of those metrics, how would we actually calculate them? Um, pertaining to what the business team would be, right? For example, average revenue per user uh, will pertain to the sales and finance teams. It'll be revenue generated per customer. 
uh, data definition, data, total revenue divided by total number of users. So very important uh, to drive it once again, um, different type of breakout. How would you calculate these metrics? Um, CSAT number of positive responses divided by number of total responses times 100. So metrics uh, back to how uh, they're calculated, which teams are aligned with it. Um, how can we, you, you um, really drive to the hiring manager that you know what you are uh, talking about, especially uh, diving into this case here. So yeah, uh, that's all I had today. Um, feel free to leave uh, any comments and how else I can help. I uh, hope this video was um, resourceful and useful. So thanks again. Um, talk to you later.